this kind of faith has been created up over the years. This has happened again and again in this country in this 21st century. It happened in Cameroon several times. It happened in Belgium several times. It happened in several other Sharia countries. The reason why we are here is to tell the story, and our story will be told on the placards that we are going to carry. The boy Yakubu was recently murdered on Thursday, 12th of May, 2022. That is the heading. Our story says we demand justice for the Bora Yakubu. Nobody has the right to take the life of any other person. There are processes. If somebody commits an offense, we have laws in the land. And due process should be followed. Not just anybody or any group of persons who decide that they have a right to kill. We demand justice for the world. Killings in the name of God. No more killing in God's name. Believe in God, all powerful. Then we shouldn't be killing in His name. God is powerful enough to defend himself and to defend us. We shouldn't have to fight for him and defend him. If we are defending God, then we are God, so we are greater than him. No more killing in the name of God. That's our story. We are also going to be telling the story that Christians are not second-class citizens in this country. Because more and more it is becoming apparent, especially in the Sharia states of this nation, that we Christians are now like second-class citizens. We have become slaves. No more. We are not. We are equally children of this land. This is also our fatherland. We are not second class citizens. If there is anybody who is first class, we are equally first class citizens in this country. We tell that story to the world today. We want to also say and insist that the killers of the Bora must be prosecuted. Our sister Deborah should face the law if we have any in this land. And if there is justice in the land, we demand that they should be prosecuted. We will also say to the law enforcement agencies in this land, particularly the police, please stop and provoke killing in Nigeria. A number of killings are being carried out by our law enforcement agencies. So we demand that they stop this attitude. They are there to protect us not to kill us. Finally, the last word from us is enough is enough. 
I think we are having it to our necks. We are being pushed to the wall. And pushed to the wall, anything can happen. We are saying enough is enough. So this, more or less, is the story we are going to use for our procession and our prayer. We are praying for the repose of the soul of the world. We are praying for our country, Nigeria. We are praying for peace. We come in peace. This is not a procession that we are daring anybody. It's not violent procession because I see in the media already they are ready to counter this planned procession. But in the first place, we didn't intend to process outside our premises. We didn't intend to go in procession of knives and cutlasses. No, we process in peace. We are making our demands in peace. For the sake of the sort of full passion, For the sake of the sort of full passion, For the sake of the sort of full passion, For the sake of the sort of full passion, For the sake of the sort of full passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Crucifixes on our necks, but by actually practicing law. So, also those who say their religion is peace, let us see the peace in action, not just in words, not just in words. It is better for us to be competing in doing good works than competing in doing evil. That is not competition if you are competing with each other to know who is more evil. No, we should compete to know who is better in the practice of virtue. So today we have told our story. Our story is that we have had enough. 
We have had enough of the killings of Christians. We have had enough of this situation in which Christians are becoming second class citizens in this land that is also our fatherland. Enough is enough. And we have brought our tears before God Almighty. I pray the Lord to hear us and answer our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. We also pray for justice for the brother Yahudu through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we rise.